Oh, I'm freezing. Why am I freezing? I might pass out here. And if I pass out, then so be it. But my hopefully my dinos will protect me. What is that? Oh, is that a dinosaur? Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on Aberration. Um, today, my goal is to tame an Ankylosaurus. I know last episode, last video, it did not work out. I did not have time to tame, tame an Anky, and my Thylacolio died, which was very sad. However, I tamed two more up. Um, one is actually in my inventory, named her Misty, and then the other one is a male. Haven't named him yet, um, but I breeded them together and got a little baby junior here. So, super cute. He is growing up at the moment. I don't think I'll be able to get an imprint in him, unfortunately, just because I will not be on the game in an hour and 11 minutes, but that's okay. Um, I tried to make the nanny, but uh, unfortunately I was not able to just because, well, I, I, I was able to make it. I just don't have any power to generate it. Um, so that didn't work out. Obviously, if you didn't know, the nanny, what the nanny does is it, it's a mod. And, um, and basically what it does is it imprints your baby dinos for you and feeds them as well. So, um, super helpful. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so the main goal, obviously, like I said, is to tame an Inky, gather up some metal, and kind of start working on um, building the foundations of the base that I'm going to make. So, first of all, I do need to get some resources. And that involves going down to the blue zone, which I'm kind of nervous about. Because I think that only Inkies are in the blue zone. So this will be quite the exploration journey. i got to fill up some water first before I go down, which is no problem. So let's get started here and work our way over to the world tree. And we'll just kind of take our sweet time getting down there. Um, eventually, I think it'd be nice to put some zip lines down from my cliff base here down to the um, blue zone. I'm not sure how that would work but um, I'd have to figure out a way to do that. So, But for now, this will suffice. I could honestly just parachute down. However, I do need to know how to get back up. So that's why I'm just kind of walking down like this. Yeah, I'm really hoping that there's a way back up. Because uh, if there's not a way back up, then I obviously will not be doing this right now, and I would have to figure out how to get back up. So let's see if I can figure out a way down. It kind of looks like it wraps around and goes down right there. So that's the plan right now. This is such a really cool concept though, like the whole giant path through the entire map is just a really interesting idea. And like I said, I've never really played this map until this series, just um, these videos that I'm making. So uh, a new experience for me, very fun so far, besides my Thylacolio dying on me. Not not the best experience, but what are you gonna do, right? Yeah, I did, I, I rewatched the video <laughs> when I was editing it, the last video, and it was so funny. I just saw the Thylacolio just launching into space. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. I wonder if it was like the Dinosuchus, the alligator that um, chomped it and then just sent it flying away. So I don't know. That's probably what happened, but I thought it was kind of funny. It was not very funny at the time, <laughs> but it was pretty funny when I saw it uh, in post. So yeah. <laughs> so it looks like there is a way down to Blue Zone, which is super nice. So let's go ahead and see if we can find an Anki. They usually come in, ooh, a Megaloceros. I don't like those things, and I'm pretty sure that they're fairly dangerous as well. So actually, what I'm gonna do, I think I'm, I'm gonna take out my Thylacolio, and I'm gonna use her instead, because she's a little bit more powerful than Fred here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm a little nervous to go down here, but I've got the light pet on, so that's good. I'm just gonna pump all of its points, her points, into melee damage to just kill the things quickly. This is my 135 Thyla that I tamed earlier, last episode. Not the 150. I don't want to lose the 150, so. I'm not planning on losing the 135 either, but you never know, right? So there's that Megaloceros right there. I'm gonna see if I can avoid it. Um, I should probably fill up my water real quick as well. Good. Bow on me. Let me take care of this quick. There we go. Okay, let me put some melee damage into it. I'll keep the hide. And then... Let's see. Okay, so there is a there is a way to get back up. That's good. So I will just do that. I guess, um, here we go. I'm just going to jump off, I suppose, and um, hope for the best here. 
Hopefully we can find an Anki in this episode. I'm just really scared about the Nameless too, like... I heard that Reapers can come up from the Nameless if there's too many of them, and that kind of freaks me out, so... Oh, Ravager's on me. I just gotta remember where I am and where I'm able to get back up. So, let me just put a mark on my map real quick here. Okay, we got the ping on our map. Let me take off this guy. I wonder if Protolovia is spawned down here too. I bet they do. This look, kind of looks like a swamp area. I don't need to be in a swamp area at all. I'm going to try to remember where I came from so I don't get super lost. I'm not seeing any Yankees, which is kind of surprising, but I, maybe I just haven't been looking very much. What is up there? What is that? Megaloceros. I'll get to taming those someday, but obviously not right now. Ravagers on me. I thought I heard something. A level 5? Come on now. Gotta do better than that to take me down. For some reason, my glow stick always just like, like disappears on me. I don't know why that is, but... Oh, I have a Megaloceros on me. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage on me. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, my light pipe's off. That's not good. Cool. I gotta dip. Right, I gotta kill this rabbit first though, there we go. I gotta get away from the nameless because then the reapers will spawn. Why did my light pet go out? I gotta figure that out real quick. That's a basilisk. I just saw a basilisk. I gotta find a safe spot to throw down my uh, light right here. There we go. Maybe it has like a. I still have that nameless on me. I wonder how far its aggro range is. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and see if there's any Yankees behind me here. There's gotta be a couple Yankees around here somewhere. You would think. This is, I think, the way I came? Maybe not, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, this is the bridge. Maybe I'll go, maybe I will go a different direction or something. Or maybe, I, I have seen um, Inkies on the world tree before, I think. If I can remember correctly, so maybe I'll go and check the world tree in a few minutes here. Yeah, but I, I do not, I cannot afford to get stuck fighting a reaper. That I would definitely die if that happened, so I gotta make sure my life pet is at full charge at all times. I'm surprised I haven't found any Inkies yet. This is very surprising to me because usually they're not super uncommon. But maybe, maybe they are un uncommon on this map, I don't know. I'm not sure. They're definitely not going to be in the water, obviously, so maybe... Let's go up that way. This is such a unique map. I mean, I'm surprised I've never really even, like, explored this at all. There's an explorer note right here, and one of those planes that heals your dinos. Have I done this? I don't think I've done this before. Let's see how this works, actually. So what happens? It just I just sit here and it heals it, or what? Oh wow, that's really fast. Holy cow, that is so nice. I love that. There's two up at my base, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> no more having to deal with Daedons. I don't even know if Daedons spawn on this map. But, but yeah, this is really nice. This is very convenient. Alright, we are fully healed. Let's continue on and 
our search for finding an Inklosaurus. So let's check down here. Oh, that's a Drake. That's a what is a rock Drake doing down here? 85. Um, I don't see any Inkies down there. So there's a couple of rock Drakes down there. That's a little scary. I didn't know rock Drakes spawned in the blue zone. I thought they were in the red zone. That's what I was told anyway. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go into the world tree, I guess, and see if there's any Inkies. Um, like on some of the cliffs or something, I guess. A couple of Kentros over there. Hmm, which way should I go at this point? I wonder if there's anything up there. I just don't know how I would, how I would get up there. That's the thing. Maybe I do have to come this way. I don't know. I mean, I can take on a couple of rock tricks, right? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't risk it. There's no point in going that way, though, because there's nothing else over there. I'm not going to lie to you, I have no idea what to do at this point, because I'm a little scared. Oh, wait, is that land or water? That looks like land over there. I might just go down that way. The only issue is having, like, trying to get back up, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to get back up, so... Heck, why not? Let's just go for it. I think those rock drakes might come on to me. We'll see, though. Nope, we're good. Oh, we have a megalos megalosaurus? Megalosaurus? I've never really known how to pronounce those dinos. I'm just gonna say mega from now on. A mega. <laughs> Looking for an Anki. I'm so surprised I haven't found an Anki yet. Are they in the- they're in the blue zone, right? Inky spawn in the blue zone is what I was told by multiple people, so they gotta be around here somewhere. Another mega over there. We're gonna avoid that. Oh, we can't avoid it, clearly. Come here, buddy. Sorry, I need to kill you. It did. Wow, that did a lot of damage to me. That's kind of annoying. All I want is an Inky. That's all I want. <laughs> like, why is it so hard to find one? So, Deinonychus uh, nuts right here. I might grab this real quick. Yes, Inkies. Let's go. I don't really care what level they are because I have been looking for these guys for a long time. So. Um, let's go ahead and check out my light pet. See how much charge it has. 499. That's going down fairly quickly. Let's turn it off so it can charge real quick. That way I can get more charge. I don't know if this is the thing to do, but like, honestly, I wonder if it's good to like bring multiple glow pets. Because then you don't have to sit here and wait for it to recharge. That might be a good play, honestly. That should be good. Let's see what that looks like here. 781. Eh. Okay, let's get going with these teams here. I'm just going to try and grab one. Is that going to hurt me? What is that? It's an element jug bug. Oh, nice. I don't want to tame that right now. 115. That's very good. 95. Let's kill the 95 real quick. Let's try to make this as fast as possible. Die already. How many bites are you gonna take? There we go. Okay, its friend is gonna come after me. Oh, I guess not. Nice. It's nice that there's not a lot of bad things around here, at least as of now. Let me take a sip of water quick. Oh, I didn't. F I didn't refill my water. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna have to refill my water, or I could just shoot off the back of my thyla. That's not a bad idea. Let me do that. I think I'm just gonna do that and let it take damage. That way I don't have to use my stamina and water and energy and whatnot. Hopefully I can get this tamed up without too much trouble here. Once it starts to run away I'll know it's 
going down fairly quickly, so. Is it running away already? No, I don't think so. Nope, not yet. My thylas has taken a kind of a beating. <laughs> Come on, go down. Is it running away now? I think it is. Nice. We got some centipedes over there. I gotta be careful about those. Let's go. Okay, I got that down. So now at this point, I'm just gonna kind of wait for a little bit and get it teamed up. So I will see you in a few minutes. If you see me earlier, that means something happened. <laughs> That's a Megalostris right there. What level is it? Level 40 or 140? I don't know. I couldn't see. It went past the tree. A 60. Okay, I could probably deal with that. I think I'm just going to go clear that out real quick. Is it running away? Oh, I didn't know they'd run away. That's new. That's like the only second or third... Mega I've killed in, on this server, to be honest with you. Okay, there's a rock drake kind of wandering over here. A 135 rock drake. I'm gonna have to kill it, I have no choice. Come on, die, die. Hopefully, you don't have any friends. That was actually not that bad. <laughs> that only took like, what, 10 bites? What was that about? I mean, hey, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Okay, guys, a quick little update. We are at about 35%. This is taking forever. I looked with my awesome spyglass to see how long it would take, and I put about 200 measure berries in it, and it's going to take about 57. 57 measure berries, 57 feeds to get this guy tamed up. If I had any kibble, it would take five, but I do not have kibble right now, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, in the meantime, I kind of just went ahead and made a little fence area. Hey, it kind of looks like a... I don't know, like a diamond, actually. I didn't even intend that. <laughs> I just kind of put it around the Aki to see if we could just protect it a little bit. So, um, yeah, just a quick update, and we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we finally tamed up the Aki. It was about time. It only took about one hour, so I'm going to come up with a name of it real quick. Actually, I think I'll probably just name it later um, once I get back to base. So that's the plan. Let me just get it into a cryopod here. It was a level 115 at base, so it wasn't too bad. I'm kind of happy with it. Let me pick up these fences, these spikes. I'm just kind of hoping my glow pet doesn't run out of charge here. Let's see, what is that? 1386? That's not bad. I might turn it off for about two minutes before I return home. Alright, we got some rock drakes up there. Ooh, that's a max level rock drake. I do not want to go that way. I kind of want... I can't tame that, obviously, but if I could tame it, I would. That's crazy. That's very rare. I don't know if it's super rare, but it's rare to me at least. Let's go this way, see if we can find a roundabout way to get home. Yeah, I spent about, I don't know, a good 45 minutes searching for an Aki, and all of a sudden I come down that way, and I find like 10 in one place, so <laughs> that was convenient, I guess. So let's hop onto the world tree here and make our way home. Alright, let's get my Ravager out here. We are coming up to a vine, so I gotta climb that with that guy. And put my Thyla away. Ooh, there's a Baryonyx down there. What level is it? Level 55? That's not very good. I feel like there's a lot of, like, in this blue zone, there's a huge, big swamp biome. I really do not want to fall down there, because you got the Capros down there that can... Oh boy, that was not cool. <laughs> that was really close gotta be more careful with that but as i was saying yeah capros down there they can knock you off your mount pull you off start eating you so not a fun time um just trying to figure out the best oh i'm freezing why am i freezing do i take uh, aquatic mushrooms with that or what's going on with that hopefully i survive this let me pull out my thyla just in case i get knocked out um i might pass out here and if I pass out, then so be it. But my hopefully my dinos will protect me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna pass out for sure. 
Hopefully I don't die, though. At least I, I'm gonna pass out in a good place, though. Let's see how long it takes, how many, like, how much torpidity it needs for me to be passed out. Because I have, honestly, have, oh, there he is. What was that, like, 60? I didn't see. 55? I didn't even notice. I think I'll survive. I guess that's why you uh, carry all the mushrooms around with you. No matter where you go, eh? I didn't even notice how long this would take. Or how long the effect would last. I didn't look to see how many... Uh... What is that? Oh, is that a Dionysus? Okay, Fred is here. But where did my Thylo go? This map is so glitchy. I don't understand why it's so glitchy. I cannot believe how many Thylos I've lost so far. Where did my Thylo go? It's gotta be underground or something, right? This map is literally the glitchiest map I've ever played on. It literally just went through the floor. I don't understand that. That's why I got a baby. <laughs> oh, that music means something is chasing me. Or was. Uh, Titan Boa? Wait. Where the heck is my Thyla? If it's fighting a Titan Boa, did it fall down? I'm not about to go down and search for it on this thing. Well, the Thylacolio is alive. See, I hear music. And I think it's my Thylacolio that's fighting. You know what? It might actually be down there. That's, there's a Titan Boa down there. It might have fallen through. I'm not going to go down there, though. I'm going to have to come back for that later. So, Alright, guys. We've reached pretty close to home. Looks like my little junior Thyla needs an imprint. Let's see what it needs. Cuddling, let's go. 100%. I love that. Okay. I honestly didn't think I'd get that uh, imprinted, but it's nice that I did. So now I think I'm going to go back for that Thyla that I lost. So I will see you shortly. All right, guys. We were back with Misty. Uh, somehow she fell through the floor and started attacking a Titan Bow. I don't know how that happened, but uh, she's back. I got her. No problem at all. Um, let me go ahead and throw out my new Inky. Where did it go? Let's see here. I'm pretty excited about this because now I'm going to be able to harvest a whole bunch of metal. Um, I do need to make a saddle for it real quick. Ooh, look at the colors. I love those colors. We got some green. We got some little bit of orange there. I love it. Alright, let's slap this guy on it. Why, why is it hitting something when I'm not even on it? That's funny. I don't think I've seen that before. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, let's put it, hmm, what should we put some points into? Let's put it in mostly into weight, I guess. I do want to put some into speed as well, because they're pretty slow. I'm gonna get my Ravagers out. Okay, so now what I can do is I can have my Ravagers follow me on the Inky, and then they will have, um, basically a lot of weight capacity for me to put a lot of metal into them. So that's the idea behind that. 388 metal, that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's a lot faster, too, instead of having to walk around with a pickaxe, so that's nice. All right, well, um, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, metal harvesting with my new Anki, and I will see you in the next video.